Great to see you, Becky. And thanks so much. I'm here at the Ken Lion with Evan Spiegel, the CEO of Snap. Um, Evan, you just announced some new usage numbers for your AI chatbot. My question is, what does this growth of AI on the Snap platform mean, both for your subscription business and also for advertising? Well, Julia, thanks so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. And we're so excited about my AI. It's a new chatbot. You can find it right inside uh, Snapchat in the same chat feed with your friends and family. And we believe more and more people want to communicate with AI just as much as they want to communicate with their friends and family. And my AI is an amazing creative tool. It's now used by over 150 million people since launch with over 10 billion messages sent. And one of the reasons why it's so useful for our business is because people use my AI to ask for things that they want or get recommendations. And that allows us to better understand user intent, which then informs our content business or the augmented reality lenses that we show, for example. And we've released some special features for Snapchat Plus subscribers. We now have over 3 million Snapchat Plus subscribers, and they can snap back and forth with my AI. So you can send your AI a snap, and it'll actually respond with a totally unique generative snap. But what does this all mean for your business? Snap has been struggling with decelerating revenue growth. There was a, the indication that the second quarter could see a 6% decline in revenue. Is AI going to be a real driver of revenue and profits, and, and how much so? Well, it's still very early with my AI, and we're focused primarily on the user experience. So we're trying to help uh, make sure that the responses that my AI is providing are really valuable to our community, adding new features like bringing my AI into a conversation with your friends, for example. But over time, we do believe that this intense signal that we get in a privacy-safe way from my AI will inform our advertising stack. So, for example, if you're you know, trying to get advice on which phone to buy, uh, my, my AI could help offer a suggestion, maybe a sponsored link. And then, of course, we could pipe that into our advertising platform so that advertisers can use that signal to make sure they're showing the right ad for a new phone to the right person at the right time. And is there any guidance you can give or any indication of how much AI could ultimately end up boosting profitability down the road? I think it's far too early to say, but we already use AI in so many different parts of our business to drive growth. So, for example, we've been really focused on our performance advertising yeah. business. That's something advertisers are really focused on right now at this moment where cost pressure has caused them to really focus on efficiency. And we use ML models to make sure that we're delivering the right ad to the right person. We've been running much bigger models. We're iterating a lot faster. And that's been helping to drive growth for our performance advertisers. I mentioned earlier this sort of warning that you gave in your most recent quarterly results. And the stock really plummeted uh, on a miss for the first quarter in this, in this concern about the second quarter. What are you seeing now in terms of the market, both in terms of what's going on with Snap advertising in particular and then the market as a whole? Well, we're certainly not out of the woods yet, but we're making a lot of progress on our performance advertising business, where our focus uh, has been for the last 18 months or so, of course, in the wake of some of the changes from Apple and, of course, some of the, the macroeconomic pressures as well. You know, as, as businesses experience higher costs, you know, whether those are labor costs or other input costs, uh, you know, really cause them to find ways to you know, reduce those costs through, you know, less spending on advertising or focusing on advertising that was really efficient. And so for us, that's, that's meant a real focus on making sure performance advertisers can be successful. And this year has been full of changes. So, you know, we uh, started out by unifying ad interactions on our platform. People were inter engaging with Spotlight and Stories differently. And so we unified those ad interactions. Then, of course, we focused a lot on the post-click performance of our advertising, mm -hmm. which is helping advertisers get more conversions. And we've been running much bigger models using more data in a privacy-safe way, uh, which has helped advertisers find the customers that they're looking for. But